everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jessie if you're new. Today we're going to be making baked ratatouille with goat's cheese. This is one of my favourite autumn meals and I hope it becomes one of yours too. To start we are going to take some olive oil, I'm just using a spray version and we're just going to make sure that we grease the bottom of our frying pan. Next up we're going to take some red onion, some garlic and what else do we need? Also two uh, red peppers and also two medium sized aubergines and we're going to dice all of these up nice and small to go in our ratatouille. While our ratatouille mixture is cooking, we're going to make our cheese sauce. So we're going to start by mixing some butter and plain flour into a saucepan on a low heat until that's nice and combined and it makes a roux paste. Next, we're going to measure out our milk that's going to go into our roux paste. Uh, I think I use about 300 ml, but obviously as much as you want to use. We're going to then slowly whisk that in to our paste to make sure it's nice and incorporated and creamy. Then we're going to add our cheddar cheese into our cheese sauce. Um, I just add as much or as little as you would like to taste. Then we are going to take some smoked paprika, soy sauce and balsamic vinegar. Um, I use one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of soy sauce and two tablespoons of balsamic. Next, we add 500 ml of passata. Next, you're going to take these two rather large courgettes. You probably don't need all of these. And we're going to just slice these nice and thin into discs to go on the top of our ratatouille. Once the ratatouille is cooked, you're then going to tip it into a oven proof dish and make sure that it's nice and evenly distributed. Oh. Top that with the lovely cheese sauce that we made earlier. Well, I don't wanna jinx it, baby. Then you're going to take 200 grams of goat's cheese and crumble that on top of the cheese sauce. Once that's done, you're going to add your thinly sliced courgettes, overlapping them slightly and giving them a good spritz with olive oil before we pop them in the oven. And there we have it. This is before it goes in the oven. We're then going to bake that at 200 degrees Celsius for 25 to 30 minutes. 
And then here is the finished product, um, slightly tucked into, um, but it was in fact delicious. So let me know if you try it and I will see you super soon. Bye bye.